But like I told you guys in my last vlog at the end that the next vlog would be uh, a girl's trip to Atlanta. So that's what's happening right now. I'm in the airport actually. My cousins are over there getting ready. We're getting ready to board. And I thought I would take you guys along for our fun girls weekend in Atlanta. So it should be a really, really nice one. The weather is cool, but hopefully it won't rain on us. There's like a chance of rain, but hopefully we won't get any. But I'm excited and I'm excited to take y'all along. I love sharing these types of videos with y'all and I know you're gonna love it. So, uh, welcome to another vlog, Hot Lanta Weekend. Atlanta Bound with the girls. Say hi, Nish. Say hi, Rina. We are Atlanta Bound, Airport Chronicles. We on our way. We're walking. They sent us to another terminal, so we're walking. nine bedrooms in this house so I probably won't be able to show them all to you but this is the dining area as you can see it seats a lot of people they have plenty of chairs my BFF is sitting there eating her Sammy I'm gonna leave her alone hey Donnie <laughs> but this is the living room two seating areas here one there one there and here's 
The downstairs bedrooms, there's one, there's two. This is one that I'm saving for my friend Charlene. There's a bathroom here. And then we're going back here. There's all the ladies eating. I just made I just made some turkey sandwiches, so they're making their turkey sandwiches. Here's a bedroom that Kimmy and my friend Ruthie are gonna be in. Here's a bedroom that my cousin Tanisha's gonna be in. There's her bathroom and closet. Here is the bedroom that I'm going to be in back here. It has a patio on the back back here. Take you guys out and show you. Oh, and I just locked the door, jeez. Okay, locking the door. Here's the patio, guys. As you can see, it's pitch black out there and a little bit scary, so I'm gonna go back in. Lock the door, but here is my bedroom. And now we're gonna go upstairs. This place is pretty big. All right, so here's the landing of the upstairs area. Here's the bedroom. I think my cousin Renita is in there. Here's the bedroom. I think my cousin Nikki is in here. This one has a bathroom to it. Here is, what is this? Is this another bedroom or a closet? Here's another bedroom. Cute little tidy bedroom right here. Here is a closet and another nice size bedroom. This is where my friend Renee and my friend Camila are gonna sleep. And they have their own bathroom here. So, yeah. That's the tour, you guys. So that's the tour. Um, I really don't know how much I'm gonna be able to actually vlog on this trip. Like, <laughs> like it's, it's just a lot going on. I'm doing a lot, I'm driving. I'm, but I'm gonna do the best that I can to show y'all what we're doing, where we're going, what we're eating, and definitely what I am wearing on this trip. So right now my outfit is nothing exciting. It is just a turtleneck dress that I have on a black one from Shein. So nothing exciting there, but I will definitely keep you guys informed on this little girl's trip so that if you wanna plan a girl's trip with your friends, you get some good ideas from our group. So that's always the goal on these videos. So super exciting y'all to be with y'all this weekend. Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to another day on the vlog. I'm looking crazy. My wig is looking very wiggy right now. Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to get it together. Um, it is another day. We are actually up getting ready to go do some shopping at the mall. I think we're gonna go to the Lenox Shopping Center. You can hear the ladies all back there. I tried to get away from them for the noise, but um, I can't. But anyway, I'm gonna use this camera to do my lipstick. I already did my makeup, I just threw on a little light makeup for the day because we're actually gonna be doing like a little adventure thing today. We're going to this place called Beat the Bomb. It's like an escape room and if you don't escape, you get bombed with paint. So <laughs> that should be pretty fun. Uh, we love escape rooms, me and my friends, my cousins, we love escape rooms. So. That should be pretty fun, but before we do that, we're actually gonna go to the mall, like I said, do some shopping. I think we're gonna go to what's called the Lenox Mall or Lenox Shopping Center. So we are getting ready to go. And I just slap my wig on and I'm gonna get it to lay down. I'm actually gonna, ooh, I just pulled off my earring. I'm actually gonna put on a baseball cap. Y'all yeah, know how I feel about my hats. <laughs> but yeah, I just, kind of sprayed a little bit of the ebon um, adhesive in the front. It's like right here. I don't like to glue it down too much, but just so when I put on my hat, it doesn't like move. But yeah, here's my outfit. You guys can't see it. There are no full length mirrors in this house. None of us can find a single mirror. It's only like small mirrors. So I actually have you guys propped up on the back door. Let me show you. Let me show you what the um, the view looks like. I'll turn you guys around in a minute, but anyway, let me show you the outfit. So I'm wearing this jumpsuit. You guys have seen this. I purchased this from ASOS, and it's like a little pants jumpsuit. I don't know how well y'all can see it from here. Got a little mohawk going on. Um, it's like a little pants jumpsuit. Um, I'm wearing this. 
from Nordstrom and that's the outfit of the day. I'm getting ready to take this thing off of my head. So this in my pocket. Um, yeah, my outfit is pretty simple because when we get to the um, attraction, I am gonna have to like put on this like onesie, like zip up suit to cover your clothes because if you don't make it out of the escape room, you get bombed. So you gotta like cover up with these suits that they give you. But yeah, this is the look, y'all. Like I said, I'm about to put on a baseball cap and I apologize for the noise. Can't stop the ladies from having fun. But um, yeah, this is the look. Pretty casual. Even though you guys can't see me, hopefully I can get one of them to hold the camera and show y'all my look of the day. But yeah, we getting ready to head out. Welcome to another day. I'll definitely be taking y'all along for everything. So uh, yeah, this house, it's nice, but a lot of us are finding like little quirks with it. And I've shared like tips for Airbnb rentals in a past vlog. I'll probably do some again in this video, like at the end, but sometimes when you rent these houses, you don't always know what you're gonna get, y'all. You don't always know what you're gonna get. Oh, and this is where I have you guys propped up on the back door. The back area is really, really nice. I like it a lot. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, I'm mad that I don't have like a single full length mirror to show you guys my outfit. Like I have to just do it this way because this place doesn't believe in full length mirrors apparently. But anyway, here's all the girls. They're all chilling, they're getting ready to roll out. It's a pretty one. <laughs> but yeah, we can maybe go, so. Anyway, welcome to another day on the vlog.
<laughs> so my cousins are in there. We had to split into two groups. They're in there about to get bombed. They're in there about to get bombed. and memorable because they take pictures videos and then they send it to your email it's awesome try it out we started now though so we about to go get something to eat our only dilemma is where there's so many good places that we didn't have no clue like where we want to eat but we are about to go get some grub i am starving starving so we on our way to eat beat the bomb lots of fun it was fun Okay, it's a person. A rapper, it's a rapper. Okay. 
Is it is it older, older or younger? 90s. A middle age? Women? Okay, Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce. Okay, Beyonce. Husband. Uh hus Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Oh shit! New Jack. New Jack City? Yes! Oh, yes! Are you ready? 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 A female, female singer. Oh, no. Middle. Our age. Sunday morning uh, we're still in Atlanta at our house I'm just outside feeling the breeze listening to nature it's so quiet over here where we are it's just it's such a nice place but yeah I thought I would just come out and get some fresh air say good morning start off the vlog for the day today's gonna be a busy day we got a lot going on we are going to brunch today and then we're gonna go look at some museums maybe go by some of the colleges Spelman and Morehouse and then we are going to dinner at um, Sea Salt restaurant tonight so we got a busy day ahead um, kicking it off a little early for how late I stayed up last night so excuse me if I look a little washed up <laughs> but it should be a really fun day uh, welcome to another day y'all Hey y'all, so I got myself together. We're getting ready to head out for our brunch this morning. Put on this really cute extra long wig. And we're all like pretty casual, like semi-casual because we're gonna go to see some monuments after brunch and then our dinner is like later, later tonight. But I'm already feeling cute, okay. Sure, it sound right, boys. Big, 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 big
sound right, boy. Right, boy. Suck it in drag queen dining experience I'm telling you if you're ever in Atlanta you have to go to lips drag dining it's amazing worth every penny it's only $32 you get three courses with your meal and you get to sit up there and see some of the best drag queens perform like in the whole of US so it was so much fun we had a blast a blast so Hopefully you guys saw that, but um, yeah, we are just 
packing up our stuff now. My suitcase is right over there and I am packing it because we gotta get to the airport. We have to leave here, out of here, probably by 7.30. So we have to clear this house by 11 a.m. and get to the airport. Our flight is at 11.15, so we're packing up tonight, but we're also just hanging out, cleaning up, girls talk, talking about the kids, the men, whatever. You know, girls gotta get together and have their male talk, whatever, talk about these ninjas. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all we're doing. The girls are all in there, and so y'all can hear them. <laughs> But yeah, I'm getting ready to just wash my face. I am pooped and I had such a wonderful time in Atlanta, like such a wonderful time. I wish we could have did more, but I still had such an amazing time. But yeah, I got on my little night dress, my little Amazon special here, and I'm actually about to go ahead and wrap it up. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I'll probably close out the vlog at the airport or something like that, weird like that. Y'all know how I roll. This is not going to be the vlog from your faves, but I guarantee you, you're going to love it either way. So, um, I'll see y'all in the morning. Time for me to clean it up and get ready for bed. That's my bed right there. I'm ready to get in it. another day on the vlog as you can see I am back from my trip um whew, thirsty let me take a sip of water y'all I'm back um the trip to Atlanta it was fun well it, yeah it was fun but I definitely learned some lessons on this trip if I haven't told you guys like I do these types of trips a lot like where I rent a house and invite my friends or my cousins or both but this one I definitely learned something like when you get it's a, it's a better idea to limit the size of the group personally that's something that I learned because when you get like a lot a lot of different personalities it can be a little bit challenging sometimes and then um, you know everybody wants to do their own type of thing and then you have certain people where it's like no matter what you come up with they're not satisfied or like it's it, it's it can be challenging doing these kind of trips but definitely learn some lessons on this one and i certainly plan to go back to atlanta and like sort of do it my way you know i definitely wanted to visit some of the colleges and one of my friends that actually came she actually did that she went ahead and did it by herself i wish i would have done that like there was there's a lot of things that i wanted to see that i didn't get a chance to see museums and things like that i did go to the trap museum and that was nice, that was pretty cool. But there was a lot of other things that I wanted to see, educational things that I didn't get to do. So, you know, cause I'm more into like the historic parts of places, monuments and history and you know, things like that. You know, I'm not always about the turn up. So, you know, for me it's, it's different. So I definitely plan to go back and like I said, do it my way. But anyway, we're back in LA, <laughs> we're back home. And um, I'm feeling good. I did have a great time because regardless, when you're around people that you love and that you enjoy their company, it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. But at the same time, I learned some lessons on this one. Let's just say that one. And as far as these kind of trips, if I ever do it again, it won't be for a long time, and it will be for a much smaller group. And yeah, it'll be a lot different. But anyway, I came back to something absolutely awesome, and that is my YouTube. Uh, what do you call this? play button play button <laughs> my youtube play button is here you guys so if you don't know i hit 100k on my channel when i tell you it has been quite the journey getting there y'all like I, I never even thought i would get there because you know i know how social media works it's all about how you look what size you are this that and you know i don't portray myself as like this perfect person you know i'm not this like you know jet setter like you know i just work a regular old career you know out there helping the public you know doing what i got like i'm not your fave you know i'm not your glam fave and so i didn't think i would ever get here like the journey has been something else but i am so excited to open this up with you guys this is my first time actually opening it comes with a little card congratulations on your subscriber milestone we are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want you, your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick 
If your award was damaged during shipping or if you have any questions, please contact YouTube Creator Society. It comes with a letter from the CEO of YouTube. Her name is Susan Wakiki. So it comes with a really nice congratulations letter from her. And oh my God, here is my silver plate. But no, you guys, it says, presented to 10 ways to wear it for passing 100,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. Like this is all because of you, because you guys took a chance on a regular old girl for a chance. Regular old LA girl, like regular degular. <laughs> and we're here, I can't believe it. And you know, I'm just grateful to be here. Like I'm not even thinking of next milestones and I'm, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this moment right here, y'all. I am so grateful to be here and hoping to continue growing on my Instagram. I think I'm at like almost 57K over there, you know, but definitely over there, it's a lot harder to grow, especially you know, if you don't fit that typical Instagram baddie look, which I never will. <laughs> so, but I, I feel like I've done great to not fit that typical baddie, you know, Instagram baddie, you know, titties out, just, you know, like I'm not there and I never will be. <laughs> so I feel like I've done great to just be who I am and just showcase who I really am. So very, very grateful for this, y'all. I am so happy. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna have to find a very special place for it. But um, yeah, thank you guys. Mm, thank you. So right now we have plans for the day. It's my day off. I want to do something. I have been having this itch to go thrifting. I really wanted to go thrifting in Atlanta, but I didn't get a chance to do that. Like I said, I really didn't get a chance to do hardly anything that I wanted to do because I was kind of so busy trying to please other people. And it's like some you couldn't even please, but. I really want to go thrifting. I want to go thrifting, so that's what we're going to do right now. I'm actually dressed, showered up, ready to go. Just finished shooting some content, so I'm ready to hit the streets now, y'all. Like, I'm excited. I got my play button. Like, your girl's ready to run the streets. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys off the tripod. We're going to go to the thrift store and see what's out there for me because something is telling me I'm going to find something really good. Like, I've been having this thrift itch for a while. And something's telling me I'm gonna find something really, really good. So let's go, y'all. Let's go. And real quick, outfit of the day. Today I am pretty casual. I have on this really cute knit striped bandeau top that is from HM. It's a recent purchase. I paired it with my cargo pants. These are cargo camouflage pants or camo pants. These are the pair that I thrifted, so I won't be able to link these exact ones, but I will link the ones from Urban Outfitters that are pretty much exactly the same. But these are genuine military camo pants. And I threw on this double-breasted faux leather blazer. This is from Nordstrom Rack. On my feet, I have on my Nike Dunks, the black and white ones with the pink Nike sign. And yeah, that's the look. Very casual because, you know, we just went to the thrift store. Maybe going to get a cup of coffee. We'll see what the day holds. But um, yeah, I'm ready to hit the streets, y'all. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go. Let's go, y'all.
finished up at the thrift store. It was crazy in there. And then there's like a little food market going on right here, but I'm done with people. <laughs> We're done with people. But um, anyway, I'm on my way down to go and get some lunch because I'm starving and I feel like I'm getting hangry. So it's time to go get some food. I don't know if I'm gonna stop and get something or if I'm gonna actually order something when I get home. We'll see when I get to my car. I've got a little ways to walk, so um, yeah. Successful Quick H&M stop. I need to return this coat, y'all. So I'm in H&M right now making my return. Hopefully, trying not to shop, but y'all know how that goes. vlogging in here they got the music so loud and they playing like the hits like hits hits <laughs> it's like the club in here I don't even want to leave anyway we're going yeah. because I feel like my energy is starting to low and I got ish to do so I need a little kick oh it's good too it's nice and sweet oh hey y'all I am back from running my errands and going to the thrift store I got me a Starbucks as you can see uh what a treacherous run to the thrift store and honestly it wasn't even all that successful um it was so crowded in there that it was like i couldn't try nothing on it was just so many people but i did find a few things i found some brand new levi 501 shorts so these are like the short shorts the distressed ones these are a size bigger than i normally get but that's okay because they're gonna fit nice and loose and baggy and these will be perfect for the summer they were only 16.50 and the regular price of these is around 50 dollars so Good price for that. I also found another pair of Levi's shorts. These are also 501s, I think, but these are longer shorts. So cute. And this is the actual size I wear. So, um, yeah, I, this was like a lucky find. I was like, yes, I need these for, I'm going to Jamaica this summer. I'm hopefully going to Mexico with my friend Ruthie. We trying to work on something, but um, I also found this red Kango hat, like a vintage hat. Um, I, I kind of want to put it on my head, but I feel like I want to wash it too. It looks brand new, but, uh, Lord, please cleanse any energy off of this hat. Purify this hat. <laughs> Cause I want to try it on. <laughs> but I thought this was really cute. I love, I've been loving red and I love the little Kango symbol on there. But yeah, I found that. And I found a couple of bags. I found... This unique little bag here, it has like a bracelet for the handle and then it just kind of zips around this way. And this was $32.50, so it's real leather. It's by a brand called Otat Myers. Otat Myers. I thought it was cute and different. I thought it was really, really cute. So, and I thought that went well with the outfit I'm wearing today too, so. But yeah, these longer shorts, I don't know if I said the price, but they were $22.50 at the thrift store. And I also found this bag. This is by, who is this? Rebecca Minkoff. 
and I love this one. It's like white and it has all these gold studs on it. It has a short strap and then it has a really long strap and it smells like it's real leather. I don't know if it is though, but it was $37.50. The thrift store that I go to is called Crossroads Trading Company and it's not like the cheapest thrift store. It's not like Goodwill or Salvation Army. It's a little bit more expensive, a little bit more curated. And that's what I like because it kind of helps guide me a little bit. So this, I love this bag. I love this. This is like perfect for summer. Boho chic, real cute. It'll go cute with a lot of my little outfits I'll be wearing in the summertime and in the spring. Um, the last thing I found was some jewelry. I found these really cool long earrings. I love these. Look at how pretty they are. I thought they were so nice. These were $28. I don't know what brand this is, but they just caught my eye and I was like, oh, I gotta have them. They just look so pretty. And I found this really cute, chunky silver ring that I picked up. But yeah, that's my thrift store finds. Like, found some things, but because there was like a line for the dressing room, it was just crowded in there. I mean, you guys saw the footage. It was like kind of crazy up in here. I really wasn't able to do what I really wanted to do. But, you know, I did the best I could. But I did stop and get some food. I got some ribs from Ralph's. And I'm gonna make some loaded mashed potatoes to go with those. And I bought a salad to go on the side with that for later for me and my boyfriend. He's gonna be coming over. And then we're gonna go to the movies tonight to see Creed. So yeah, that's the day y'all. Like I really don't have much going on today. Um, I shot some content earlier, like really, really early when I got up this morning. I had to get that out of the way. But other than that, I'm just kind of chilling today. So. Not much going on, and I don't want to make this vlog too long. So I'll probably throw another couple of clips on here later of me and my boyfriend, maybe. But other than that, yeah, I'm about to peace out. I want to change my clothes and get comfortable and um, relax. Maybe chop up some of these ribs and eat them. So. <laughs> I'm hungry, y'all. But yeah, we'll see what the rest of the vlog holds. I don't think this is going to be the end, so I guess I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, so I told you earlier that that probably was not going to be the end of the vlog because my boyfriend did tell me he wanted to go to the movies and I tried so hard to get out of this date tonight, y'all, <laughs> because I just kind of wanted to stay in my pajamas. But anyway, I put my clothes back on. I kind of winterized the outfit that I had on earlier. So instead of the little knit bandeau top, I have on this high neck sweater. This is from Nordstrom Rack. And I think it's by Shelly Siegel. It's like a wide sleeve sweater. It's really, really cold right now in LA. Like it, it's, it warms up during the day, um, but in the evenings it's like crazy cold. So I need to be warm. So I got this on, have on my Nike Dunks. And yeah, simple little outfit. I'm gonna throw on my Nasty Gal leather moto jacket here. And for my perfume, I'm doing this beach walk, Maison Margiela replica beach walk. So let me go ahead and hit a couple of spritzes of that. Love to walk into the movie smelling good. But yeah, that's the look because I wanna be warm. And like I said, I tried so hard to get out of this day, but it just did not happen for me. He was like, get ready, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> So anyway, that's the look. Very cozy, very comfortable. And um, yeah, heading out to the movies with the babe. And uh, I'll definitely insert a clip in case you haven't seen my babe. I try to put it in videos. He don't really care for being on camera like that. But, I, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm put him on there when I, when I can. So <laughs> anyway, he can just go and get over that. But um, yeah, that's the look, y'all. So I put my hat back on because I just feel like wearing a baseball cap told y'all I'm a baseball cap and wig kind of girl so that is me right there so yeah y'all that's the look hey y'all ready to go I can't lie I'm really feeling this look y'all <laughs> I am feeling it first I was just kind of like eh, but I kind of like it kind of happy that my babe convinced me to get my ish together and go because you know a date night is always good so yeah Let's roll out, y'all. Let me go ahead and fill my purse with snacks. <laughs> Who else does that? I know I'm not the only person that does that. But anyway, let me go ahead and get some goodies in my purse so we can go to roll out to this little movie date. 
date night with the date night. <laughs> There's my honey, y'all. Y'all don't get to see him much, but <laughs> he don't really care for being all on camera like that all the time. But he'll let me put him on there sometimes. Yeah. If you're a real one, if you're a real follower, then you've seen him. I'll see him. Long term, very long term. Hey you guys, so I am back from date night. The movie Creed is amazing. It was really, really good, very realistic. The storyline was good. And both of the characters played their roles to a T. So it's a really good movie. I would definitely recommend it. But I did want to just come on here and say goodnight. I am in bed with my ribs and my loaded mashed potatoes here, getting ready to throw down because we just had like some movie snacks and I didn't really eat much before we left. I just had a salad, so in bed y'all and it is only 9 35 so this is like a typical saturday for me i go to bed very early um every day of the week but um yeah just wanted to tell you guys good night i'm getting ready to turn it in and um yeah i don't know if this is going to be the end of the vlog but if it is i love you guys thanks for watching see you on the next one i will certainly continue to vlog for y'all so there will be vlogs sprinkled in between all of my little content so uh I'll catch y'all on the next one or maybe I'll catch y'all in the morning. Who knows? Bye, y'all.